Hi, I'm John and welcome to the second week of Introduction to Music Production course and we will take a look at few DAW common features in this lesson applied to Logic Pro X. Starting from the pointer tool, to trim a region you point your mouse to the bottom right or bottom left part of a region. Once your mouse pointer becomes a bracket with two arrows, you click it and holding it, dragging it to the right or to the left as you wish and release the left button on your mouse when done. To separate or split a region, press the T on your keyboard followed by the number 5. This keyboard shortcut brings up the scissors tool. All you need to do now is click where you want to split. You can do a crossfade using shortcut as well by pressing the letter T and then the number zero. After this, just click near the end of the first audio region where you want the crossfade to start. Then holding it, you drag it to the beginning of the next region. Then release the mouse button. This does not work on MIDI regions, neither on flex mode. Merge on Logic Pro X is called join. To join two or more regions of the same type on the same track, you select them by holding the shift key while you click the regions wanted. Then press J on your keyboard. That's it. If, you, if the audio regions uh, have some effects or some processing between them, and um, are, or are non-contiguous, Logic will ask you if you want to create a new file. You can change the grid by selecting the option under the snap menu over here. However, not so often this is, it's easier to use a modifier key to temporarily um, turn the grid off. And on Logic Pro X, it's the control key. So if you start dragging a region, and only then holding control key, you can drag it without snapping to the grid. To turn on or off the cycle mode, you can press the C on the keyboard. And yellow bar will show up on the ruler. The very right and left of the yellow bar, we called, it's called the collect locators. You can click and drag the locators to adjust cycle as you need. You can also click on the middle of the bar to move it around. Under the Global Tracks button, over here, or using the G on your keyboard, you will find the Markers track. And to add a marker to your project, first click and drag the playhead to place it where you want to start the marker, and then click the plus button to create it. You can double click it to rename it. There are two useful ways to zoom. One is pressing the Z on the keyboard to get all the regions in your project on the screen. The other one is using the zoom tool, which can be activated by holding both control and option keys, which turn the mouse pointer into the zoom tool. And now you can click and drag over any area within the workspace to shape the screen as you want. To go back, just repeat holding control and option keys and click on an empty space. To name a track, just double click the track's name and to name a region, you press the T on your keyboard, then the number four, and you will get the text too. Now all you have to do is click any region you want to rename. To pick a color of, for a region, you need a palette in which you can get by holding the option key and then pressing the C on your keyboard. Now you select the desired region and click the color you want. There are many ways to accomplish these tasks I taught here, such as using edit menus, the region inspector, but I decided to use the most practical and easiest, easiest ones for better and faster workflow giving you more time to make music. Thank you for watching. See you then.